Right then. So this is the second vid for the first lesson of the first brand new pack. Interestingly, if I change the setup on this calculator to get ready for the second question, which is to do with a frequency table, what I want is list one and list two. So I can do list and then number two. What that does is it says that list one is my x values and list two is my frequency values. So I can do it as a frequency table. I can actually do question one like that. Like if I do it now, if I just do one there, I get an issue. If that's the case now, if I put a frequency of one in here now, I'm going to put 11 in somewhere by mistake. And one there, it gives me exactly the same answers. So you can have it as list one, list two in the setup, but you have to put ones in the frequency for this first question. Right, let's have a look at the second question then. So the second question is using a frequency table. So these numbers are going to go in list one. Hang on, let me put it on full screen for a minute. So these are going to go in list one, and these are going to go in list two. So I put it in the calculator. Uh, where's my calculator gone? Let's see full screen. It's right, faffy messes. Right, so if I press exit, so if you press kind of down with the thing, it just takes you to the top. So you keep pressing down, it takes you to the top. Press delete a few times, and it gets rid of them. Then move across, press delete a few times, it gets rid of them. So I'm going to put 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, and 60. I've got them all in. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 60. Uh, they actually put 59, didn't they? So frequency, so I press right, it takes back to the top. So 3 for that one, so you've got 354s, 155, 156, 257s, 258. And two and sixty words there. So just double check the set. It says list one, list two. So that means it's a frequency table. And then if I do my one there again, it tells me what the mean. So the mean is fifty six point six four. So x bar fifty six point six four or fifty six point six. We'll do that to two decimal places. So it looks all right. And then if I scroll down, so plus the sum of x, plus the sum of x squared, plus the standard deviations, plus the n, plus the minimum for uh, a box plot, plus the lower quartile q1, the median is 57. Uh, and keep going, so we've got the upper quartile, the max, so all them numbers are good for like your box plot. Then it tells me that the mode is 54, and it's only one of them. Uh, and you expected that because it had the biggest frequency, so you knew that, so at least it works. So the mode is 54. Okay. Right, let's have a look at the next page then. Yeah. Right, so this time, uh, if you remember from GCSE, you need to work out what the midpoint is. So we're going halfway between 0 and 10, which is 5, then 15, then 25, then 35, then 45. And that goes in list 1. That goes in list 2. So it says, I want the, the mean, the median, and the modal group. Right, okay, well, that's a look. Uh, so, let's exit, press down a few times and then get happy with the delete key. Move it over, get happy with the delete key. Right, so what have we got? So I've got 5, 15, 25, 35, 45. Press right, so then I've got 5, 12, 19, <clears throat> 10, and four. Press F1 for that. Right, so it gives me uh, the mean is 24.2. So x bar is 24.2. So 
So let's now look at the median. Right, so the calculator, let's go down to median, tells me it's 25. So the calculator telling me it's 25, it's picking up the midpoint value, isn't it? So actually, I want the group, so it's 20 to 30. So be careful with that for these ones. You want to find the group. There. So I'll keep going for the mode. So it says the mode is 25. So for the mode, once again, that's also 20 to 30. Right. Let's have a look then. So next one. So this one says employees in a small firm have the following salaries when put in order. Uh, right, so let's stick that in the calculator. That's the ten for now. Press down a few times. Get happy with the delete key. So what we got? I'm bad to so, Oh, here we go. Oh, that was one over here. Then. So what we got? So twelve thousand. Oops. It's not right for pay, that. Uh, twelve thousand. Gotta watch out when you're putting in the calculator. You get nothing. <laughs> Put the wrong number in, you're done. Uh, 15,200. 16,400. Whoa, look at that. Uh, 17,900. <clears throat> Where am I? 21 grand. And 31 grand. Right, so I've got choices. I can do the set and change that back to 1 by pressing F1 if I want, or I can leave it in list 2 and put 1s in the frequency column. It's entirely up to you, as long as you're happy and you know what you're doing. So I've gone for the easy way of just putting the 1 in, but you've got to remember to change it, that's your problem. Right, so go F1. Right, that's all up then. So he wants the mode first, so scan, scan down to the mode, put them in a different order. So that's 12,000. So there's a car outside. Then the mean, oh, no, I'll do that now. Oh, this isn't going to work properly, is it now? There you go. Mean is 17,000. And the medium is 12,000. Oh, sorry, medium. 15,200. Uh, so 15,200. It says which one is the best measure and why. So you've got an issue here. You've got a few people are earning less than 20 grand, and they've got somebody earning 30 grand. So if you use the mean, it gets massively skewed by that 30 grand. That would be better if it said 50 grand or something like that. So we're not going to go with the mean because it's, it gets affected by the outliers. So we are going to go with the median because it's not affected. By an outlier, which is a higher salary. There, there we go. Right, let's have a look at question five then. So it says the mean of a sample of 25 observations is 6.4. The mean of a second sample of 30 is 7.2. So I know using x bar is a sum of x over n. 6.4 is a sum of x over 25 for the first one. So 25 times 6.4 tells me what I get if I add them all together. And then for the second one, uh, 7.2 is a sum of x over 30. So 30 times by 7.2 is a sum of x. 
and GCSE, they should have told you 